The human body is made up of 46 chromosomes that come in 23 pairs, one set from our mother and one set from our father. Chromosomes are like different books in an encyclopedia set. Each book carries different information, yet altogether they make up a very important reference set. Our chromosomes are like these books in the encyclopedia set. If one is added, deleted, or out of place, it may cause disruptions in the reference information. The severity of this disruption may depend on how much information is changed as a whole. If we take a closer look at each volume of the encyclopedia set, we will notice that there are pages upon pages of information in each one of these books. These pages are analogs to the genes that code for everything in our body, from tissues to blood to different bodily functions. If these genes are misspelled, misplaced, or moved to a different location within our genome, it can have mild to severe effects on a person's health. But how exactly does this happen? Just like the words on the pages of the encyclopedia, our genes are made up of four letters, A, G, C, and T. These four letters create the genetic code. In our written language, we expect the letters in words to be in a certain order for our brains to translate the correct meaning. If a letter is added, out of place, or deleted, the word itself may not be understood. Our genetic code works along a very similar translational system. A gene is made up of letters that need to be in a specific order for healthy proteins to be made. If a letter is out of place, added, or deleted, it too may not be understood by the human body. We call this a genetic alteration or a mutation. Some genetic alterations are considered benign or not harmful. These spelling changes in our genes may even be beneficial as they introduce genetic variation in our species. Benign changes may be the cause of humans having different eye color, different hair color, or even different personalities. However, if a genetic alteration is severe or in a part of a gene that has high functional value, it can be the cause of human disease or death. Many times, we call these harmful spelling mistakes in the gene mutations or pathogenic alteration. When someone inherits or is born with a cancer gene mutation, they are at increased risk to develop certain kinds of cancer. Over time, environmental or lifestyle factors, such as smoking, excessive alcohol intake, sun exposure, obesity, hormone or chemical exposure, can cause an additional gene mutation to occur in the same cell and lead to cancer development at younger ages than expected. We are learning more and more about the causes of these spelling mistakes on a daily basis. It is not always clear why some people carry these gene changes while other people do not. In fact, many gene changes happen sporadically in people with no family history of the same change. This can often be difficult to diagnose and can sometimes be confusing for the patient as they often wonder why this has happened to them. In the past, clinicians have been able to detect these spelling mistakes by sequencing suspect genes one at a time. This often resulted in a costly and time-consuming process. With the advent of multi-gene panel testing, clinicians are now able to simultaneously sequence many genes at once associated with hereditary cancer syndromes. Multi-gene panel testing allows clinicians to better treat and manage their patient's disease by helping them understand the underlying genetic cause. The human body is a complex system and there is still so much more to be understood. As researchers and doctors continue to learn more about the human body, we will also learn more about how to create better treatments and cures for genetic conditions.